Hi everybody! So I have another video for you guys using the Mini Monsters Cricut cartridge that I just got today. I'm seriously having a blast with this cartridge. Um, and I want to show you something really quick. This is what kind of sparked the inspiration for um, what we're going to be making today. This is just a little jar that I got at the dollar store and I filled it with candy corn. And they have this adorable little image that says Candy Corny on it. And I just think it's freaking adorable. And so, yeah. So I got the idea to make little individual ones um, for people um, that you could give as gifts. Okay. So I have these little cellophane bags. Um, you can get these at Walmart. Um, my local Walmart didn't have them, but um, when I was visiting my mom, her Walmart had them. So um, they come in like a pack of 100 for like a dollar or two. So um, they're real nice and small. They're six inches by three and three quarter inches. So they're a good size for um, just little gifts. And then I went ahead and cut some paper. And let me you so this is from the basic gray eerie line and I actually folded it the wrong way the first time because I wasn't paying attention but I cut it to four by four and a quarter and you want to fold it in half on the four and a quarter side and um, I cut my images out here I've got all the pieces here so we're gonna put this together I cut this out at two inches so I'm going to just really quickly put this together with you guys. Um, it's really, really simple to put together. I'm just going to use my zig here. Okay. So I did my layers. I did the shadow layer as black and then the second layer as yellow and the top layer as orange and I'm going to show you um, how I did my candy corn on the other one here. I actually, <laughs> with my candy corn, um, I didn't have it my actual candy corn in front of me the first time so I layered my candy corn the wrong way <laughs> which is kind of funny. But um, So first of all, the tips of candy corn as you can see, let me grab one out so you can see. The tip of candy corn is white, of course. So I'm going to use my white gel pen and just color in the tip of it. If you wanted to, you could use just cut little white pieces of paper if you don't have a white gel pen, or you could use acrylic paint if you wanted to or something like that if you don't have the white gel pen okay okay and then one more here and I'm gonna add some highlights to my letters as well just kind of random um, I don't know, it's just, we're just going to wing it here. I love adding highlights to any kind of lettering that I have on anything, really. Um, it's just, I don't know, it just adds a lot of character. Okay, so I think I'm going to, like I said, it's, there's really no rhyme or reason when you're doing this. Just have fun with it. Wherever you think it needs a little something. Okay. So there's that. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my orange pieces on. And I don't know if these have a particular spot. I did not pay attention once again. I have a tendency of not paying attention to things. 
like this. So I'm just going to stick them on wherever I feel like it. When I first did the, my jar, I was putting the orange on the bottom, thinking that candy corn went kind of in order of color as being lighter, darker, so I thought it went orange, yellow, white, but it doesn't, so I had to go back and fix it. But that is the gist of that. So I'm just going to use my ATG. You could use pop dots if you want to. I'm just going to use some ATG here. You can use sticky strip, you can just use some regular adhesive, it doesn't really matter. And I'm just going to stick this on here and it just perfect fits on there. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and fill my little baggie up with some candy corn. I'm actually surprised I have any of this left. It's one of my favorite things to eat around Halloween. My, my kids love it too, we've discovered that, and my husband hates this stuff. It's crazy. Okay, so that's all I'm going to add for now. So that's a really good amount. Um, and then I'm going to add adhesive right onto my bag. And ATG or sticky strip or just any kind of adhesive really will work. Okay, just add it on there and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add two strips up of adhesive here. Okay, and just make sure it's nice and flat just like that and you have an adorable adorable little treat bag for anyone and it's super simple you could totally make these in bulk really easily um, if you wanted to if you had some cute little Halloween stamps um, you could use some stays on ink and stamp all over your bag first if you wanted to just add a little more oomph to it but I think it's super cute just like that so once again, I hope you guys enjoyed. There's just another idea with mini monsters, and I'm sure I'm going to have tons more because, like I said, I just friggin' love this cartridge so much. It's so, so cute. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!